show you guys in a minute. out there all our creeps this is your crypt keeper with another episode of paranormal encounters and tonight it's a good one this is gilberti's place it's a fine dining restaurant out in colchester right on the main stretch there and not only do they have great food but they got a great bunch of spirits there as well so we went back there in june it was friday the 13th which of course is a creepy night to begin with and uh this is the first part of two episodes. We've been there three times over the year 2012. And uh, without any further ado, let me present Gilberti's place. Okay. All right, we're here at Gilberti's. Ed, Nick, and Gabe. And um, they we're out here in Colchester Friday the 13th. So you know it's going to be good. And uh, we've already got a couple audible voices. So uh, female audible voice. Uh, this is... Uh, down in the basement is supposedly where a gentleman hung himself back in the 70s. So uh, the uh, folks here at Gilberti's uh, have been kind enough to let us have this place to ourselves for the evening. And now we're just going to start explaining this equipment to these uh, spirits, see if they're here. Just don't get too close to either one of us because you'll blind us. <clears throat> this is a really cool device. I don't know if you guys will have any luck using this. But well, we're going to just try this for a minute and see if you have any luck with it. This is a regular transistor radio that's been retooled. Now when I send it to the frequencies, I'm going to see if you guys can try to talk through this when we ask a question, alright? Let me just start this rolling, see if we have much uh, interference. I swear this sort of sound like a male's voice yeah. in there. Could the female say something? Could you say hello or something to us? Holy crap. Did you catch that? Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Now, this is very important. I'm curious. Um, you can answer yes or no. Is there a male in your cell phone in the building, two of you? He's a guy. It's telling us in more than one. What do you want? Oh, that's creepy. Would, Would have been more than one or more, more than one. More than one. More than one. That's what I got. How many are you? Could you give me a number of how many are you here? Seven? Holy. Did he just say seven? <laughs> seven. Holy, Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I just got goosebumps. Seven. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Are you uh, all right with the fact we came here to talk to you guys? Yes. Thank you. We're not. We're not here to bug you. We're not trying to get rid of any of you guys. You know the the owners here are very happy. You guys are here. I guess none of you guys have ever caused any problems. You freaked a few people out, but um, you know we're certainly not freaked out by you. And we want you to gather together as much energy as you can. That was the woman. That was the woman. Yep. We want you to gather as much energy together as you can so that you can do as much stuff for us tonight as you can. You know, if you can, we're going to set this infrared up later, point it down the hallway, 
Maybe one of you can cast a shadow or try to manifest for us. Um, as many voices as we get can get. Um, if you can knock something over, turn something on, we'd love that. That's for the owners so that they can look at it and go, wow, they definitely are here. And at one point, when you get a chance, folks, if each one of us, one of you guys could tell us your names in this recorder. Right now we're using the go this spirit box, but as soon as I turn that off, you can tell us your names in the recorder. Can the female try to tell me your first name in this box? Couldn't make out what name she said. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Two syllables. Wendy or Wendy. Wendy. It sounded tell, like Wendy. Can you tell us one more time what your name is? Or could you? Yeah. Could you try to say it one more time? Or one of the males could say your name too. No. No, it wasn't. No, it was something else. So was that help? Hmm? Was that help? It sounded like help. Yeah. Did somebody ask for help? Is there somebody that might be stuck here that needs our help to cross over? Oh, please. Wow. Okay. No problem. We offer that. We can assist you. You know, at the end of the night, if you want me to help to try and cross you over, I can do that for you. I can, I can help explain how you can do it. Okay? Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's what it's, right. that's, yep, is yeah, that right? exactly what she said. Yes. Is um, that right? Wow. This guy's got a lot of energy. I might, um, we might have to come back in a week or so and, and try to do it the proper way, you know? But I can try to do it tonight and see if we can help you on your way tonight. If we... Can't wait. Oh, wow. They are really <laughs> utilizing it. <laughs> I'm getting the chills. I got goosebumps. You were right, Nick. This place is oh, crazy. Yeah, this place is off the hook. Um, Are you happy that we're here? Well, she tried to say something. Mm. Are you happy that we showed up to talk to you? Here, yes. I'm going to cover those spots for now, and we'll um, utilize some of the other stuff. Um, okay, well, now I just heard that. What'd you hear? One, one syllable. Sil syllable. Like, eh. Could that have been one of you? Nope. Eh. Nope. Like, right nothing. in front of my face. Yeah, but didn't say nothing. Wow. Wow, you guys are on fire well, tonight. Well, when you asked them how many they were here, there's seven. Yeah. You see what I said about people? Um, I'm going to be taking some pictures. If you guys want to get in front of the shots, um, we'd love that. And the recorder's going, so I want each one of you to have an opportunity to tell me your names on there. I'm pretty sure I heard somebody asking for help. If, if that's, I just think I heard yeah in my yeah, right ear. Yeah, I heard that too. It was right. Is that a gentle, gentleman? Yep. You're a man. Yeah. Let's like go that. Here, yeah. Let's bring the recorder in here. They'll be more apt to talk over it if we have yep. it right with us. I really appreciate you guys cooperating with us. We mean you no harm and. We're not trying to push you out of here. You know the yeah, only problem with up. here? Is oh, we're yeah, going to have the, the, so well, the audio. When it gets dark. It's going to have total yep. bad audio in there. Don't forget, if you guys want to move something, push something, and peer in front of the cameras, you can. There's nothing wrong. We're here as friends. I'm going to ask you again. Did somebody ask for my our assistance? If you ask for our assistance, well, we will help you, but you have to say help me again. Is this thing open? Yeah. Oh. 
I was going to say, I'll try to get some air in here. Oh, this is just... No, this goes downstairs. You can go down. Wow. This is part of it. The sweet. Yep. We're just going to sit here for a little while and uh, <laughs> try to creepy out sound. Of right out of a horror film. Can about <laughs> you guys. Now, the gentleman that that uh, did himself in in the basement, are you here, sir? Did you hear that? Yeah. What did he say? I, I couldn't make it yes. out. Yes. But he was talking. Yes, clear as day. Yeah. Would you mind coming and sit next to me, sir? Did you, uh, and you can talk over the recorder when I ask you questions, sir. Um, did you, um, did you used to own this restaurant or something? But you did, you, you did uh, take your life in the basement, and that is true? And am I... Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, I, I just heard like, like a knocking. That was creepy. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I just want to reiterate... Can somebody answer either a yes or no question on this recorder? We thought we heard the number seven. There's seven people in here. You could say yes, that's correct, or no, that's not correct. Nobody around anywhere, so it had to be one of the walls knocking. Hun, are you the only female in this building? The hell was that? It was like, Whoa. yep, yep. Maybe that was no. Because I asked, are you the only female in the building? How many females are in this building? sound like four to me. That's, I yeah. just was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> there, I, this, I can't believe all the audible. Are you catching most of these responses, Gabe? Yeah. <laughs> it got to be, yeah. Don't forget, you I'm glad know. that all three of us are, are hearing all these voices because usually it's one of us. It's either yeah. you or me or, or Gabe. And, uh, say time again. again. Yeah. Any of the seven spirits that are here, you can walk in front of the K2 meter. It won't hurt you. It'll just light up. So I want you guys to light it up. Whenever you want, when you feel free to walk in front of it, light it right up. I've noticed a lot of places that are really active haven't been able to light those off. I don't know what. Oh, that's you, right? Yeah, the uh, getting dust. Looks like orbs, but you can see it's them. dust. Yeah. Okay. You sure it's dust? Yep. Because at the Jabez house, you said you saw dust, and, uh, and right when you orbs. said that, there was orbs there too. Yep. Whoa! This camera just went off. Yeah. They're using their, they're drawing your energy. I told you they're going to do that. But I mean, they, it turned off on its own. <laughs> he hit the button. <laughs> they hit the button. <laughs> awesome. I, I know I didn't hit it. Either that or they drained it. Yeah, they drained it. Let me they check. I, I told check. you. They're going to start draining. No, it still works. Yeah. Maybe somebody just said, oh, what's that button? Oops. I just turned <laughs> it off on. That's weird. Nice. Thank you. Well, that freaked me out. Because you could feel it in your hand go, <laughs> I was like, what the? Wow. Wow, I just heard a woman. Now, if there is seven people in here, I mean, even, we know why you wound up here, sir. The, um, I just heard another voice, but that came from over this way. Yeah, I told you, it's very accurate. Like, mm. um, I know why, why you'd be here, sir, but I don't know how, if there is seven people, Goosebumps. No, I just got touched right on the hand. Nice. Went like this. You know what? Like right, right when you said that, I saw something like right next to Nick. Just kind of go shooting by. Yeah. Like toward me. Yeah. It it, it went. The door. Oh, I just got freaking my hair. All my hair just stood out like something just That's weird, went on dude. me. Get that. This place is freaking crazy. It's her footsteps. 
It was like an orb. It, it was like wow. it, it was back and forth. Really? Awesome. Yeah. Right on film too. Yeah. Holy crap, man! I can't believe. That's it. why I'm standing right here because something's. Happened. Because all the reports that come back to me and the, what they say happens, yeah. I'm just like that. The wall. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. Um. All right. What I was saying, sir, is I know how you met your demise and why you would be here. But I can't believe that six other people, if there is seven in here, would all so, ball past in here. <laughs> it's a woman talking right when you're talking. Really? She's just talking right behind you. I hope that's right <laughs> on that thing. I'll is that the woman's room there or the men's room? Yeah, it's the uh, men's room here and uh, the ladies' room is there. Oh, God. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how you guys wound up here. Something. It's kind of weird that seven people would wind up. Did you guys used to party here or something, or are you you related to somebody that once owned this place? Now, it was also another restaurant. I just heard something that went like, "Oh, yep." Um. So, oh, that's a motor car motor. Yeah. What we what we know, we know the guy passed in probably the seventies or the eighties. So he's like probably Nick and I's age, somewhere around there. Um, maybe a little bit older. Are all you guys from from this uh generation, from you know, the the fifties, sixties, seventies? Is there anybody that's it's here that's from an older generation, like the 1800s? Was there a uh, home on this property at one time before this uh, restaurant was erected that could possibly be where some of you came from? Is there any children here? Or young adults? Is that you clicking? Nope. Well, I just seen a shadow. Did you hear that click right there? Yep. Well, like. Yep. I don't know what that could I'm be. I'm telling you, man. I yeah. saw a shadow. I just got my hair just stood up. I'm gonna grab the ghost box again. Yeah. I've had do real it. good luck with that. This Sometimes awesome. you have no. We're, we're getting no reception whatsoever on that yep. ghost box. No case. Except for voices. I, I really want to find out. Seven spirits. As much as I can about these guys. In a couple hours, we're going to be here. All you have to do is walk in front of this K2 meter. Just set it off, please. Oh, what was that? If you want to see some pretty lights. <coughs> so I just saw an orb. It's kind of oh, like this. Orb? It went backwards. Did you hear a voice? Oh, right in my ear. Went like. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure it wasn't trying to scare me. It was trying to attempt to say something. <coughs> just remember that recorder's behind you, so you know. Yep. Well, what too much? Hey, give it to me. I want to put it right over here next to the ghost box, the recorder. Thanks, Bob. All right. I'm going to put this on again because um, I want to find out if, if seven was correct. I want to. I just saw something like right below the exit sign. Can we try? One of you guys try saying how many of you are here again? Ten? Did you hear a woman say ten? I don't know that. Are you kidding me? Sometimes, you know, some certain places spirits come and go. Yep. And they're counting, you know, oh, maybe more came in for some reason. Man. Is the female sitting here near me? Yes. That was cool. Is, is there like seven to ten of you in this building right now? Yes? Sound like yes. Sound like a woman said yes. Yeah. 
Are all of you from the 1900s? Yes. Oh, she's talking. Yeah. Hun, did you live a full life or did you meet your demise at a young age, like 30s, 40s? 40s is how much she said. There's no radio interference here. No. They can't. They can't get it here. Is there any children in it? Anybody can answer this. If there's any children, you can hear somebody talking on that. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear any of that, Gabe? Yeah. It's like people are having a conversation right yeah. over this thing. I've never had this happen before. Um. <clears throat> Instead of... Oh, yep. She just said something to you just now. I think it was like, no. Were you saying no no to the fact there is no children? I mean, she said no or hello. If there is any children... She said, nope. Oh, it's kind of more like, what? All right. You thought she said no? Yeah, it sounded like she said, nope. It's, all right, let me ask it this way. So you're saying all, all seven or eight of you guys, all seven or ten of you guys, are, uh, are adults. Yeah, no kids, all adults. Wow, <laughs> uh, God. Some just touched the back of my shirt. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Do you guys think if we made it pitch dark in here in a little while, I've got a camera that takes uh, a, a video camera that takes pictures in uh, pure darkness. If I was to point it down toward the door, do you think one of you guys might be able to do something in front of it? Cast a shadow or manifest or something like that? If you want. Oh. If you want. Do it. Ask Get it. To, oh my all God. they have to do is turn the back of that a little bit and they can turn that flashlight on if they want. So ask them. They seem to we'll we'll thank you very much, sir. We'll, we'll try to get you to do that in a little while. You see that, that flashlight there? I don't know if you guys are good with uh, poltergeist kind of stuff, if you can move stuff. Do you think anybody... Show them how it turns on and off, Nick. Just right on the back of it. Just turn it a little and it'll turn it on like that and then turn it back and you can shut it right off. Is there somebody that might be able to turn that on to let us know you're here? Sound like maybe. I'm going to turn this off for a while, guys. Thank you for being so cooperative. You guys have been amazing so far. Just to, you know, attempt to do it. I'm not expecting any miracles, but, you know, the more evidence we get, the more stuff we get to show to the owner, the more impressed he's going to be with, you know, you guys. Well, obviously, we're already thoroughly impressed with you guys. You guys have been amazing. Yeah, let's give it a try. Yeah, you just have to turn it a little bit, but I don't know. You know, different spirits have different um, strong suits. Like, you're not good with the K2 meter. You're great on the spirit box. Hopefully, you're great at talking over that uh, recorder. I'm going to start a new track, as a matter of fact. Has that camera lost any juice yet? Nope. Good. I want to try to save a little bit of it for New London later if I can. Um, do you guys know the old shaving a haircut thing? A lot of times um, we'll have luck with spirits doing that. You know, responding to me doing the first part of it, 
if I go bump, bada bump, bump, you guys knock twice. You want to try it, see if you can do it? Oh, I just Holy heard that. Holy shit. What happened? Did you hear high? I heard like a hiss. It was like, yeah. Hiss. That's what it was. It was I right just heard in, here. in my right ear at the oh. same time. Yeah, right in my right ear. That's creepy. I think a lot of these wow. audible voices are going to come over on the uh, recorder, yep. too. That was like loud as hell, though. Yep. That's what I heard. It was a hiss. I thought she was going high. All right, we're heading this way for a little while, guys. Walk around a bit. Um. We thank you. Was that you that just went? Nick? No, I went. I went how? No, I heard that howl. But then right after that, it was. Nope. That was not you. No, only said one more. We're out. <laughs> Man, one more. What do you think, Gabe? <laughs> I know. Chris <laughs> is gonna be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here talking right in the bar. I know I got I that hissing sound on the there camera. There's so much refrigerator noise that I won't be able to put any volume on this yeah. thing. Let's go in that room for a minute. Yeah, this is the kitchen. You want some more iced coffee? I'm gonna juice up a little bit. Oh yeah. What? Oh, right over here, dude. Huh. Yeah. I've been blown away right. by the hard right. on the way in. Alright, we're gonna come in this area for a little while. You guys want to drink my coffee? Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how you guys. Be careful, guys. This floor's a little greasy. Yeah, it's got a little yeah. wetness to it. I'm just trying to figure out how you guys all wound up in here. Now, this is the lazy burrito part. Okay. In this area. So. It's just seems kind of strange how you guys wound up all being here, you know? Now you guys all travel the entire building, right? Are you guys nesters or travel? Just got a K2 bit. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, they're starting to get their energy up. Yep. yep, all you have to do is walk in front of it. Do a, do a circle, just make sure it's not coming from any energy source. Oh, oh, yep. right oh no, that's them. There they go. There we go. Okay, guys. Is there, you know what? There's probably, put it back right there. I just want to make sure that it, at that angle. No, no, it just really spiked for a second. Okay, let's sit down. Um, it's staying solid right here. Though. Yeah, right oh, there. No, it, it, nope, nope. Oh no, that's nope. them. That's them. Yep, they just set it off. Um, maybe there's more, there's more juice in this room. Maybe they're able to do more stuff in here. Let me turn this on for a minute and ask them. Was that a bang? Was that you banging? No. They probably Did made... you hear that over there? Yeah. It's just a bang. Um, they probably like to hang out here because it's a smaller room, you know what I mean? I don't know. All I want to say is... Um, oh, shoot it. I just want to get the ghost box out and find out yep. from them if, what room... Well, this one's solid, so... Because, you know, there might be a room that they're going to be able to be more active in, you know? And this might be it because there's more... Wow. Anyway. I just got a solid thing on the chair. It's almost like it goes away. Really? It almost like someone sits there. Yeah, like somebody's like just standing right here. Because if I go over here, it disappears. Yeah. And it's like right here. And it disappears. And it disappears. Look at this. <laughs> Don't make sense. There's no electricity there. Did you hear that? Yep. Cool. I don't know if that was coming from it. Huh? Now, I didn't forget. If, if somebody did say they wanted help, I will institute giving you instructions on how to try and get out of here. That's all it all. That's uh -huh. something you want to do. And um, if I do get any help me's on the recorder, without, you know, I don't want to rely on just the spirit box saying help me. 
because I'm not positive it's saying help me. I want somebody to come in this recorder and say they want help crossing. And then Nick will let George, is it? Who's the owner? Uh, Tyler. Tyler. He'll let Tyler know that one of you is want to cross and see if we can come back here and do a cleansing, help you get to heaven if that's what you're ready to do, you know? But what I want to know, you know how I said I wanted you guys to try and do some stuff, like maybe knock something over, show yourself a, as a black shadow. This is all for Tyler and the owners and the employees and the, and the people that live upstairs. They're all dying to, to know that they're not crazy and you guys really are here. That's why we're here. That's our job. Um, so what I want to do is just turn the spare box on for a second and ask you if this, we want to know if this room is going to give you more energy because there's, there's a higher EMF reading in here. In other words, there's more electricity flowing. Um, if it doesn't make any difference, if the hallway is just as easy as this room to manifest in, that's fine. Don't say anything. But if this is the best room for us to conduct the rest of this investigation, I need somebody to say yes very clearly over this device when I turn it on, okay? If you don't say yes, we'll just assume that, you know, you can do whatever you want in any of the rooms. But if you say yes, we're going to stay in this room for the rest of the investigation, okay? So we'll give about a minute to see if you say yes or not. But make it really clear if you say yes. Hmm. I heard something, but it wasn't yes. Yeah, I heard that too. I don't know why it's just like... There's a room downstairs, right? You hear that? It's only like, no. Yep. There's a room downstairs, right? There's um, another business downstairs. I'm going to ask you it one more time. And if it doesn't make any difference where we go, if you can do it anywhere in this building, Say no, it doesn't matter. Just say no. Oh, that was quick. It doesn't matter? Oh. She said something, boy. Because I know it's being, I'm being a pain in the ass. I do just, it, it sounded like, to me it sounded like she said do whatever. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't think there's any difference for them. Okay. Because you can probably grab the energy from this room and bring it over there anyway, so. Do you like us being here, talking to you? No. Who said no? Could you tell me your first name? Oh, that was... Sounded like to... Roger or something like that. Yeah, it was like really creepy sounding. So you're not happy we're here? Are you angry that we're here? Oh, 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 man. Okay. Are you the man that hung himself? Are you the one that's mad at us? Yep. So yes. Why are you mad? We're, we're here to, to just help you. Sir, do you want help crossing over? I'm sure what he said. I'm not. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. That was a big bang over there. Sir, do you want us to leave? No. Yeah, he wants us to stay. No, yeah, he wants us to stay. Do you I need us to help you, sir? Oh, I think so. He said, I think so. We're, we're not here to cause anybody any harm. We're not here to aggravate anybody. We're here for the owner's sake, and we're here for your sake. This is all about you, you know? I mean, obviously, where you guys are supposed to wind up is on the other side in heaven. But a lot of you guys decide to hang around for a while. And when you're ready to leave, we're the people to help you to move on. Is there anybody that's stuck here? sounded like a woman saying, oh, that just gave me goosebumps. Did you hear that? Does anybody need help? If anybody needs help, 
Did you hear that? If any of the seven of you need help, yell help into that right now. Hello. Hello. They're all they're all coming through. They're all coming through to say hi. I think there's more than seven. Yeah, uh, I think it's I think ten, like the other guys. Yeah, Is yeah. there more than seven of you here? Yeah. Yep. Here I went. went yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you heard that? Yeah. Are there more than ten of you here? <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my God. Are there more than fourteen of you here? Oh, nice. That's what they said. What they said? Nice. Are there more than 20 spirits here, please? Can you tell us how many people are here, please? What? What did he just say? 60. There's no, no come on. There's no way. 60? Come, come on. on. Now you're just pulling. So Are you playing, playing games they're, they're with playing us? playing games with us. We, you know, we're coming <laughs> here to help you guys in any way we can. We don't want to fuck around, okay? So please, we're being totally respectful to you. Be respectful to us. I know there's no way there's 60. You said there was 70 before. Did, is, did a, a bus just pull up and drop another <laughs> 40 of you off? I'm going to ask you one more time. Please tell us how many people Honestly. are here. It says 60 again. You see, did it sound like 60? Yeah. Nah. There is no way there's 60 spirits here. Come on. Are you trying to say 16? Are there 16 spirits here? Yes. I think that's what he said. Maybe that's trying to say 16. 16. The guy got confused. Hey, give me the that's got to be uh, the guy that lives upstairs. Do you want to say something to him? I wonder if he wants to... Uh, uh, they're still talking to you on there. We're going to take a rest on this for a minute. Let's see. Oh, I record this? Yeah, turn that off for a couple. I was like, what the hell? Okay, guys. You know, since there's so many of you in here, there's probably nice guys and nice gals. And there's comedians like the guy that said 60. And there's people wow. like, what'd you get? I just got a woman go saying something, but she was going, oh, I got what? Like that. That creeped me out. If you guys want to say anything to Nick personally, you know, now's your chance. You can... Uh, you can talk to him directly, and he'll be able to hear you. Somebody go up to Nick right now and say hello as clearly as you can. I want to see if he pulls the headphones off and says hello. Can you say hello? I just got hello. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I just whispered. I just whispered, I said, somebody go up to the headphones, to that thing, and say to Nick, as clearly as you can, hello. A woman came right up oh to me and Oh my goes, god. Hello. <laughs> just like that to me. Do you believe that? I had the camera pointed Thank right you. at him, just, 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 awesome. just, just to get his reaction. Did you get a chance to tell me your first name in this recorder, hon? You're like the coolest one of the bunch. <laughs> Could you, like, be the leader of this gang and try to get everybody to cooperate with us? Because we're not doing this for selfish reasons. I mean... You guys kind of have been freaking out the owners and the employees and the, the clients, you know, and, and they don't want you to leave, but they want to know who the hell you are. Don't you think they deserve at least that? I mean, I don't know. That one guy sounded like he was a little mad at us being here. 
Um, where's Nick now? Did he walk off? Yeah, he went somewhere. I'm gonna go find him. Hey, could somebody go up to Nick now and, and say his name into the recorder clearly as, as day? I want to see if he responds and says somebody said my name. I just wanted to see who that second car was. Oh, it's people just stopped him. On again. Could somebody say his name, Nick? Nice and clear so he can hear it. I want to see if uh, you can do that again. Did you just turn that off? Oh, yeah, that was right, yeah. That's yeah. creepy. What? What'd you get? Somebody just said my name. Oh, my God. <laughs> All dude, right. you, you dude. said my name. Nick, Nick, I just did that again. I just whispered oh. to him and told him to say your name. Oh, my God. It was a woman. The woman. She goes, goes, she goes like this. Nick. Oh, my God. That's creepy. That gave me goosebumps. <laughs> That is so creepy. Wow. That's, hon, that is great. That's proving you guys are here. Now, Nick's in oh. the other, shut that door, all right? Go in there by yourself, Nick. Okay, hon, I'm going to try it one more time with Nick in the other room. I'm trying to think of an easy word for you to say. Um, what's a one-syllable word? Um, Gabe. Ed. Yeah, go go in there and say my name, Ed, as clear as you can. I want to see if he can hear that name now. And I'm whispering, so he can't possibly hear it. If he do, if she does it again, it'll blow my mind. That I can't believe it. That's, <laughs> that's twice. That twice. That's amazing. There's a woman saying something to me, and I can't make out what she's saying. <laughs> she just said my name, possibly Ed. Huh? Did it sound like Ed? Yeah. Yeah. She, but she was she was talking after. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't make out any of the words she was saying. Yeah, I told her to go tell her to say oh. my name. That Nick, that is proof that she's communicating directly with you. How are you doing? Hi. Freddy, this is Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Okay. No. Hi, nice to meet you. And you know everybody else I do, right? I think so. Right. <laughs> Bye-bye. I just take them a few minutes to get used to us. Where are you guys? Are you being shy? There was like 20 of you in here the last time. What happened? Come on in. Everybody's cool. Hey Nick, kill the lights. That I sometimes I find that they're that they feel a little more comfortable in the dark. I don't you know why. The light, right? uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use the camera light. Huh? Yeah. She's still, you know, relatively bright in here. Anybody able to say hello yet? Something's trying to come through in there. There you go. That was a hello. Was Who is that? That was a male. There was one older gentleman here. 
He sounded like he was in his 70s or 80s. Is that? Just says that you, sir? Yeah, it's just trying to say something. I hear a little something coming through. Can you draw off our energy and talk through the ghost box, please? Is that Marissa? Okay. I hope not. Find out in a minute. Yeah. Is that you that just banged? The ladies' room? Oh, wow. Okay. Ah. The I only got two names the last time I was here. I got Michael. And I got Barbara. But I know there's a bunch of you here. Oh, there was a Steve, too. I got Steve. Does anybody know the name of the gentleman that hung himself? Does anybody, any of you guys know the name of that gentleman? Are you guys still around? Well, kill the ghost box, dude. Obviously, that's not working. So, either, either they're low on energy from the last time we were here. But I, that, but once again, you said, you said they were knocking stuff over. So that leads me to believe they're not low on energy. Maybe a lot of them have taken off for some reason, you know. So we'll just like kind of roam around, and maybe some of them will come back. There was a gentleman here that said, I need my pills, bro. Are you here right now? We're getting a ton of audible voices last time, too. Yep. That thing was going nuts last time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean actual voices like screaming out we could hear. We need one big thing to let me know you guys are around, you know, a little knock or just something to let us know you're here. So how long ago did this happen with Barbara? Twelve years ago. Twelve years ago. So um, it's very possible. So you were probably really young when she passed, right? You were a kid? 20. Okay. Yeah. Um, we were 10, exactly 10 years apart. So, um... Just really weird. <laughs> so that name or No, I, I mean, it's possible. I'm not positive <laughs> about the... Barbara often. I mean, we were getting answers on the ghost box, so we might have mistaken 20 for 30, you know? Right. And if she's just said an accident, accident. we, we might have assumed it was a car accident, you know? So, um, but she's very powerful. 
Do you ever feel like she's yeah. at your house? Yeah, she's around. So positive. that's very possible that she's yeah. the one that comes here. What was the accident? It was in um, Portland. Because we asked, was it close by, and she said no. Portland. Portland. Asked, Portland's what? Like five, a, she said no. Yeah. 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 Portland's like a half an no, more than half an hour away, right? About a half hour. Half from there. Yeah. So that would make sense. That could be it, Nick. You but know. She died in yeah. Middletown. God, I wish I had. Uh, yeah, but it was very um, tragic, you know. Yeah. I wish I'd brought my computer now so I could play the voices. But she comes around. A friend of mine saw her in my house before a full, full-fledged body. Okay. And she didn't even believe in, well, you know, anything. She saw her in the room, but then she left, you know. And she, okay. she's, like, pops in and out, but maybe she came oh, here. I just want to ask you a tiny bit about her because I'm trying to see... Yeah, she, if it could be her, mm -hmm. was she was she an outgoing person? Yes, she's bubbly, like bubbles. With Nick, Nick, that's, like that's probably her. This I chick. Heard, I heard. Ooh. Just yeah. Like she that. Is like well, maybe really they're starting really to amp up a little bit. Yeah, she was very intense, and she could get anything she wanted. Cause um. Like she had this way for people. Real. People would just give her things yeah, and just give her things, the and people needed. followed her. Bring the uh, bring the uh, recorder, Nick. Um, my feeling on Barbara is that she's the catalyst of this whole place. That, uh, for example, we have a case in Stonington, in Stonington Graveyard with a girl that passed away. Her name's Katrinka, um, and she's the same way. When we went, went there, we ran into this woman and was communicating with her through the K2 meter. And um, I said, can you go around and get some of your friends and have them talk to us as well? And we had probably 30 EVPs that night from separate people. And that's the way Barbara is. She, she travels around. She knows all kinds of spirits. And when she came back here, she had a, a crap load of spirits with her. And I think she meets all these people and, and says, you know, come on in. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys want to meet you. And I'm, I'm wondering, does that sound like Barbara's MO? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's a good chance that it is Barbara. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of times when people pass and, you know, she's not only was she probably not ready to pass, you know, to cross over, probably seeing your pain and your mom's pain, your family's pain, she probably wanted to stay with you guys and see you through all that. Yeah, she, now she was like very close for a long, long time and now she's like, and I asked if anybody, doing her own thing kind of thing. I asked if anybody needed my help and Barbara never said yes. Um, a couple of the people did want my help crossing over, but not Barbara. Right. I think, yeah. if I recall correctly, she said she wasn't ready. Right. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. But um, did, we, did she uh, have a lot of men friends, male yeah. friends? Yeah. Okay. Because almost all these Mostly people. Are, males. Yeah. yeah. All these people are, are are friends of hers, and they're ninety nine percent male. Right. She was that. And I'm talking she was like. like that. Yeah. She was so that's, I, I think there's a pretty good chance that might be who we're... She had, she's like blonde girl. Is that, is that what you're picking up? I, I, I don't get anything as far as, a lot of this is just what I got from EVPs and from voices, you know, but my sense of the matter was that she was a catalyst. You know, I just felt like, because she was doing most of the talking, and like at a certain point, um, I had Nick, Nick put on the headphones with the ghost box on, and um, he walked around and I would whisper, I would say, could somebody um, say Nick's name into the headphones? And then he'd go, oh, Jesus, I just got the name Nick. And then I'm like, what was the other one I said? Say say hello. Me, Freddie. Yeah, I don't think he said Freddie, but I said say hello. And uh, and right then Nick's like, Jesus Christ. And there's, there's white noise all in his ears. He can't hear a thing. And then he gets hello. And uh, it was the female both times. Right. And... Um, then she says to Nick, she goes, Nick, you're my friend. Mm -hmm. So it's like she, she, you know, liked him right off the bat. She thought he was cool. cool. Yeah, so that, that might very well be who it is, you know? Probably. I, I just thought it was ironic that it was that name. Like, yeah, well, and you know. It was an accident. And, and we know was, she's young, you know? And she was young. And she yeah. had no children. Or yeah. She was like young, you know, and young spirited. Yeah, the thing I did get, the only thing I picked up on was like bubbly. 
and and, yeah, like she, and liked people and you know all the spirits she brought with her were all guys so yeah. there's a good shot of it. Of guys, yep. I hope she is here so we can find out for that. sure. Barbara, are you around right now? See how that goes down? Yeah. That's when a spirit's making an attempt to suck energy to, to talk over it. Yep. I just got yep, but that was a male. Now, that was a male voice. Are you, is the male telling me Barbara is around? What's your first name again? Jessica. Oh, hello. hello. That was Barbara. I heard that. Hey, Barbara. I heard that. Barbara, this is a very important question. And you can answer it or one of the males can if they, and I'm getting the chills, are stronger. Are, are you Jessica's sister? Yes. I Yeah, I do too. Barbara, do you follow your sister around? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jessica's very excited to finally know for sure that you're around. Yeah. See, it's, it's different for you, Barb, because uh, you get to see her all the time, but she never physically gets to see you. No, I have to tell you something. All right, why don't you talk to Barbara? No, there's like all. Oh, around me? Yeah. Yeah, that's um, the energy come, yeah. starting to come through. Yeah. They're just starting to amp up and they're probably... Um, so, you know, yeah. 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 Oh. go. That is, what do they call that? The super moon. And that's our show. There's another episode of Paranormal Encounters coming right up here. Good night, Irene.